Hi, welcome to Drawing from the Collection Live. I am Tiffany Wolf Smith, Assistant Curator of Education at the Modern Art Museum of Fort Worth. We'll be here every second Sunday of the month live with a new artist and a new project. So today we have with us Kristen Cochran, a Dallas-based artist and educator. Kristen hails from Portland originally, but found herself in Dallas by way of the Masters of Fine Arts program at Southern Methodist University. Uh, Kristen has a long history of exhibiting in the Metroplex. Most recently notable was her neon sculpture that was exhibited for the Nasher Windows Project at the Nasher Sculpture Center in Dallas, Texas. So Kristen, we're so glad you're here with us today. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Yay. Um, so Kristen, you have chosen a very important work, a new addition to the Modern's collection to look at today, Wingechi Mutu's Seated Three. Um, so tell us a little what you like about Mutu. There are so many things um, I like about uh, Mutu's work. So I'm a um, multidisciplinary artist, and so right off the bat when I saw this large format sculpture from her. It was something I had never seen. I'm really used to seeing her um, drawing and collage based work. Um, and so I was struck by that right off the bat and how it assumes space at the modern, in the modern gallery. Um, formally, uh, I thought that the surface quality and the um, subtle use of patina was really uh, striking. She uses patina to create this visual rhythm throughout the piece. Um, and then there's this literal weight and a conceptual weight that, um, that's, that I really felt when uh, being in the room with the work. Um, so yeah, her connection to art history and studying female heritage forms um, was interesting to me as well, how this figure um, it, from history represented was a, was a load-bearing figure. Um, the figure is very stable. Um, authority and, and rest. Um, so those are a few things I really enjoyed about it on a formal level and a conceptual level. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited about, about the work. Well, good. I'm glad you chose her. Uh, she's a great new addition to the Modern's Permanent Collection. So um, we're really excited you picked her today. So um, can you tell us just a little bit about the uh, original series, what this work was made for? Sure. Um, the, this Seated Three at the Modern is one of four female um, Karyatid sculptures made by Mutu originally for the architectural niches at the Metropolitan Museum um, in New York City in uh, the fall of 2019. So that was their original commission and context. Um, and like I mentioned just a second ago, uh, Mutu talks about having this very clear art historical point of reference. And she's also thinking about the Karyatid forms from Africa and Greece that are in the Mets collection. Um, she had been thinking about these when she was invited to do this project. Um, so that was their original context. And um, like I said, this is, this is one of those four figures. Yeah. So seated three, uh, she's, she's on view currently in the Modern's uh, ground floor galleries. She really holds that space uh, with Mutu thinking about the architecture of, of the form of the curated. Uh, she definitely holds her own in that large gallery space. Um, so, uh, let's see what, what supplies you'd like us to get together today. And, uh, if you wouldn't mind going ahead and introducing the project. Absolutely. Um, so the project that I am doing with you all today really emphasizes the relationship between the body as a support for this sort of ornamental or, or mapped, um, coiled line that we see in, uh, seated three. So that's my emphasis um, in this project and the supply list. Um, so if y'all that are watching need a, a moment to get your supplies, um, all you'll need is some sort of graphite pencil or pencils. If you have uh, colored pencils, you're welcome to grab uh, a few of the colors that you like. 
Uh, ballpoint or micron pens are also really nice because we're going to be focusing on contour line drawing. So anything that is sharp and glides across the sur surface of your paper um, is a drawing utensil that is great for this project. Uh, paper doesn't have to be fancy, so you can use a notebook, you can use uh, copy paper, which is, I'm, which is what I'm using today. And then you need some sort of linear like wrapping device. So that could be rope, it could be string, yarn. I happen to grab some leather lacing. Um, as much as you have, the more the better. Um, so that's what you need for this project today. Okay, great. Well, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just um, walking you through the materials. Um, so I just grabbed a few graphite pencils, kind of a, a random selection, different softness, softness or um, density. And then I grabbed a few colored pencils, colors uh, of just whatever colors that you like. Um, again, all of them should be sharp. And then I also grabbed just a couple of a few ballpoint pens. Um, in addition, like I said, you need some sort of wrapping device, right? So I have this leather lacing here. And um, some of you might want a, a pencil sharpener to keep your pencil nice and sharp. Um, the line quality is a really important part of blind contour drawing. So those are the uh, materials. And then I'm gonna show you a few examples of what we're gonna do today. So um, this first example, let's see if I can shift the perspective here. There's a funny little drawing we're using our non-dominant hand, so the hand you don't typically draw with, as your um, subject matter and almost the structure for the, the wrapping or coiling that we're going to add to it. And then we're going to make observational drawings of, um, of, this, of your non-dominant hand. So this is one example where I held my hand in a particular uh, posture and um, I drew it in graphite with a kind of a simple continuous contour line. And then I imagined the coil. So this isn't from observation. I imagined how the coil. One example of something that we're gonna to do today. And then the other example, um, if you aren't familiar with blind contour drawing, they might just appear like scribbles, but uh, this is a three layered contour drawing. And in the demo, I'm gonna walk you through the different layers. I started with the graphite layer, which is a blind contour sort of warm up, And then I shifted to the ballpoint pen layer, which is a blind or sided contour drawing of uh, the outline of my hand. And then the third layer was this pink layer. Um, again, it's blind or sided contour drawing of the coiling that wrapped around my hand. Um, so I'll just show you a couple more and then we'll get to it. This is one more, just two layers, right? So we've got the hand and then we've got the coiling. Um, with blind contour drawing, we're not aiming for a likeness. We're not thinking about, are the proportions correct? Does this look exactly like a hand? Is there shading, etc. So if you've not done, done contour drawing before and you're a little confused, this is all about touch, observation, and um, you know, letting your eye really study an object. So here's, here's one more funny little hand. I'm gonna have you all um, put your hands in different positions and then wrap and draw. Um, the last one that I'll show you is, um, I added a little bit of intuitive color work at the very end, just to kind of connect to maybe how she might have been thinking about patina on the surface of um, of her work, and also kind of a, a relationship between painting and um, drawing and sculpture. So I will walk us through a couple of these examples. So um, the first thing here's this is my left hand, which happens to be my non-dominant hand, and um, I am going to wrap my hand with some leather lacing. I have no, there's no pre-plan, but what I would recommend is, you know, just holding one, one end of your um, yarn or string. And I'm gonna kind of 
you know, set a position for my hand, which might be a little bit difficult to see in this, um, in this virtual setup, but I'm just gonna wrap, and I'm doing this rather quickly, but if you are gonna do this at home, I would just recommend taking your time and really think about the process of wrapping like making a drawing, okay? I'm just gonna kind of tuck that end in there. And I'm gonna use one more bit of lacing here. And you can play around with tightness or, looseness, or looseness. This is really up to you. I kind of like to do a little bit of diagonal line here. And um, I'm just gonna kind of let it, let it be like that, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do now is just make a study of my hand. And um, this is a slow drawing plot process. Blind contour is um, slow and steady. And I'm just looking at my subject matter, which is my hand and the coiling. I am not really studying if the drawing, um, what the drawing looks like. That actually kind of gets in the way. So I'm just going to look and start. My first um, layer is graphite pencil. I'm gonna use a lighter line and I really focus on the outline of my hand that I'm drawing rather than the coiling. So that's my first sort of warm up. Like I said, you just, just slow and steady. One thing about contour drawing is that you really want to um, stay in contact with the paper. And with this, it doesn't have to necessarily be only the outer edge. I mean, I can come and study some of these, you know, wrinkles in the skin or um, details like fingernails and things like that. So I think we've got just a, a beginning point here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a different color. I'm actually going to um, go with this blue ballpoint pen just to have a different sensation on the paper. And I'm just gonna focus on my coiling now. Um, only the coiling, I mean, maybe my eye will kind of travel on um, my hand a little bit, but again, this is just slow. I'm like mapping my hand, looking at it intently with my eyes and I'm just letting the pen follow what my eyes study. You can play around with pace and pressure. It's generally slow.
So we have two layers. The third layer that I'm going to add for this one, and there's a lot of different options here, is this idea about color. Um, so I am just going to grab a couple different colored pencils. And this last step is less about observation and more about um, intuition, right? So I can choose to stay within the lines or move outside of them. Maybe I want to think about, maybe I don't want to think at all, you know, it could be just um, a more intuitive process. Mutu was actually very, very specific about where she placed her patinas. But she also had the entire body to think about. So I don't necessarily um, need to uh, you know, the finished quality is really going to be up to you in terms of um, this, these sort of quick observational studies. So I think we'll just kind of leave that one there. And I'm gonna do one more demo. And what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna unwrap my hand and I'm gonna start in a similar way. We're going to do, um, maybe a new position of my hand. And I'm just gonna start with a, um, a continuous contour outline. Trying to generally get the um, the sort of the structure of my hand with an outline here. You can look at you can kind of let your eye travel on some of the details of the skin and veins. So I'm just going to stop there. I've got like a beginning point, and then for this one we're going to work a little differently. Instead of basing our um, contour or our line work on observation, we are going to um, create this sort of imagined uh, coiling line, right? So we just worked with a slow line and now I wanna shift to, um, to thinking fast, right? Like how I can sort of map doesn't all have to be fast, but maybe I can start with one layer. This is where you can play around and have, you know, you're kind of trying to use the, in my case, the colored pencil as a way to imagine wrapping that three-dimensional form. So I'm making these gestural marks as if they're moving around the body. And I really like in Mutu how she's got the coiling um, that sort of falls off the body. Um, so that's much quicker, right? We've got, can you see this all right? We've got um, two layers here. And I think we will 
ask you one more about pure blind contour. Um, all right, so the last one we're gonna do is a new position. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, wrap and we'll do one more of these. So this is really where y'all get to, to play with um, positioning, wrapping, and then layering your, your drawing. Doesn't really matter if you, you can see my hand, but I can see my hand. Um, okay, so in this process, you can really just choose whatever color and drawing utensil you want. I like to start with the graphite, but that is totally up to you. Um, and this is gonna be both hand and coil together. And we're just gonna kind of see what, what happens here. Don't get too caught up in, you know, oh my gosh, this doesn't look like a hand, or maybe it does, but it doesn't look exactly like a hand. I'm coiling. interesting how the, the leather lacing and the finger wrinkles and things like this interact. I think I'm going to pause there and let you all at home experiment with these ideas of layered drawings of wrapped objects. It could be your body. It could be an object at home. I chose to use um, my hand as it relates to the figurative uh, quality of uh, the seed of three work. and. Um, it's a very playful uh, way to um, to study form, and um, I hope you've all learned something and enjoy the process. Thanks, Kristen. You're welcome. So we'll see y'all back here again uh, next month. Every second Sunday of the month, we'll have a new artist and a new project. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.